Welcome back everyone for a, another Bannerlord video series. In this series we'll be taking a look at the Trials of the Seven Kingdoms Game of Thrones overhaul mod. As you can see from this post-production video, I'm adding this in because it took me almost two hours from download to setup to get the game started. If you haven't used this mod before, just keep that in mind and make sure to follow all of these steps in the installation guide. Uh, all the relevant links will be in the description, so check them out to figure out how to download the mod and get support in the discord server um, if you do have any questions you need any support please check out the support channel in the game of thrones um, child of the seven kingdom discord the team there is super helpful always answering questions and just want to shout out the all of the developers and moderators the entire team there because um, this has been a huge effort for them um, and thanks to them we'll be enjoying this content together so with that said let's get into it Let's try it. Let me know if the sound is still too loud. And you're supposed to be able to play with the um, the vanilla version on here now. Before it didn't always used to do that. Um. So I think, I think we're good. Let me. You know what I just noticed? So they have the Westerlands, the North, the Vale, Riverlands, Essos, and Dorne, but they don't have um, the Stormlands. They don't have the Southlands, like the Tyrells and all of them. So. If you did want to play those kind of cultures, who would that be? Would that be, I think, Westlands is Vlandia, Sturgia is the North, the Vale is Empire, Dorne is Azrai, Essos is Crusade, and Riverlands is Batania. I believe, right? Um, here's what we're going to do. We're gonna do a randomizer wheel. West, north, whoops. North, Vale, Dorn, Essos, and Riverlands. Whichever one it falls on is who I'm gonna play. Dorn. Dorn it is. Um, however, I should probably close that just in case. And actually, let me, you know. There we go. Now screen capture, I'm switching over to game capture just so you, you won't see everything else that's happening. Um, okay, so we're going to do, we're going to be Dorn. That's who we're going to play as. Um, these are fuzzy. Raise the ladders! Stand your ground! By Kasako! Aina! Pull the ring! What else? Mm, I feel like I don't really want to spend too much time with this. But I guess we'll give it a little bit of time. Although I don't think most people will even be looking at the character so who cares 
Um, okay, beard. Let's do beard. Okay, I think that's good. Let's start. Um, so I think with this, rather than reading through all this, I'm just going to look, see what they do. Um, this is control, endurance, polearm endurance, uh, trade and charm, athletics and one-handed, uh, bow and scout, polearm and... Throwing is a pretty good skill to have, um, but so is polearm. No two-handed. I think I'm going to play with the two-handed in this game. Um, ooh, endurance is three. I, I wasn't even looking at the stats. Um, I think I'm going to go with this one, throwing, and then leadership, tactics, uh, two-hand and throwing. This is not bad. I think I'm going to go with Brawn. Herded Sheep. Get additional throwing. Get two-handed. Ooh, and some smithing. That might be that might be a good one. So it's going to be between the herded sheep and this one. It's kind of a lot, no? We're going to do the herded sheep. Yeah, we're going to do village smithy. And then... I'm not really a fan of the bow. This one's actually not too bad. Does this give you the one handed and the pole arm? And your vigor's five, so that's a pretty good start, I think. Oh, nice. So maybe this one. Yeah, this one gives you the most in Vigor, and then uh, three in Two-Handed. I think we'll do a 30-year-old. You get four unspent focus compared to two, and two attributes. So let's do 30. Um, house Culture. Um, what is the... Difference. Didn't we pick a culture though? House culture. Yeah, I'm not really sure what this does. Is that kind of your alliance? Who you start off with? I'm guessing that would be. Let's do Targaryen. Yeah, they need to fix this. Um, I'm gonna guess Tigarian because Dorne was allied. So the, the storyline is this is shortly after Robert's Rebellion. So the storyline would be, you know, Targaryen. Wait, no. No, Targ uh, Dorne was allied with Targaryens and they were super pissed off after the Rebellion because um, the sister, um, Elia, was killed by Clegane. 
So I guess technically, yeah, let's let's just do it. Start as normal. Let's see, what are we gonna do? First, let's why don't we check the colors? Get like a red. Red and No, I don't know about that color. Um, sure. What should we do? What kind of symbol should we get? Oh, this is interesting. What is this? Like a bear or? Cone? Could be either one. What other options do we have? Yeah, I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest. What the hell is this? A snake, maybe? Yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. Or the other one. Is there any way you can do multiple? That's tiny. Let me see. No, there's no way that I can see that you can do multiple. Uh, maybe a bird, not a dragon. Or horse. Yeah, let's do that. Um, what are we gonna call him? What's a good name to call to use? This is the family name. I'm gonna do a quick Google search. It's giving me a lot of common first names, not necessarily last names. Place names. Mistwood, yeah, no, these are all names. No real. Let me check minor, Dornish minor family names. Let me maybe switch it to house names. So there's Martels, Danes, Alirion. Black Mons, Corgold, Dalt. So these are not like super different. Yornwood, Uller, Dalt. Let's do, I don't know.
I hope I'm not spending so much time trying to get this character set up and then the files are going to be all messed up. Tempest, Tempest, and your name will be the Zeal. After many of their line in the Crusader Kings Ubai Dynasty um, campaign, and then Bannerlord, realistic, 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 challenging. No point of Iron Man. Oh, you know what? Damn, I did forget. I was going to add the um, uh, serve as a soldier. Hold on, I'm looking for the serve as a soldier. Do, 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 do. The latest one is from the 29th of November, 2021. This requires one or more additional files, Harmony. Um, why is this the Russian translation? Oh, because I'm clicking on Russian translation. Um, oh no, this is February 2nd, 2022. Yeah, I was looking at the wrong, I was looking at the old files and the Russian file as well. So that's why. So apologies, but I am looking at the new. at this mod. And then this would go I'm guessing this would go on the modules now. I guess we're about to find out. Let's see. Uh, where's the install guide? Doesn't say. It doesn't say, but let's save. And then I'm going to exit. And I'm going to look at the mod list. Make sure I put it down towards the bottom and see if it works. Let's see what happens.
Because I could grind, I could grind it out, but I want to try this mod. Serve as a soldier, um, join one of the um, kingdoms. The modules are new in the game. Do you want to load the saved game with different module? Yes. And hopefully it doesn't screw up. I knew I should have made more coffee earlier. That's a interesting close up. Um, so how much money do I have? Eleven hundred. Um. Okay, first let's take a look at the map. It's a pretty big map. Dang, it's pretty big, don't you think? I think the Dreadfort should be over here, shouldn't it? Hmm. Interesting. Now I was going to say, shouldn't there be more stuff around here? But I guess not. Okay, so let's look. Pop open the encyclopedia, look at the clans. Um, you still have a lot of, some of the smaller clans in here, but why don't we take a look at Dorn. So Dornish. House, Martell, Oberyn, wait, um, Oberyn Martell should not be, Oberyn Martell should not be the, um, leader, right? Okay, I mean, cool. There's no, doesn't look like there's any tournaments going on. The text here needs to get changed. Sun Spear and Lemonwood. Let's take a look at the recruit troops. So we have Dornish recruits, so they can go down this line. Um, and these are pretty similar. No, they're the same. Yeah, they're the same as the um, Azrai. So these would be the Azrai Palace Guard. These would be the Azrai um, Heavy Archers, I think. Nice. This is pretty cool so far. And what about you? What do you have? Escort Merchant Caravan. That is not going to happen. Not today. I feel like now that the audio is a little bit too low. Yeah, don't have enough troops. Let me edit. And let's walk around town. Yeah, this is exactly like the Azrai towns. So normally in the vanilla game, I don't actually travel around. Um, I don't travel around the cities that much. Uh, but in Bannerlord Online, you can't just recruit troops or anything um, directly from the uh, city menu. Like you can here, like this. You can't do this. Or, I mean, you could do this, but you can only go select, like, go to town center, go to the arena, or tavern, or trade, and smithy. Mm, well, no, there's no smithy in there yet. Um, but yeah, you can't recruit troops, so you would have to go into the city and then recruit them from there. So, Lemonwood, 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 where's that at? Ghost Hill. 
King's Grave, God's Grave's Hell Holds. Okay, let's travel from city to city. Okay, um, Rome is at the brink of war. Whose claim will you support? Or will you support your own? Join and create your own hounds or renounce. Base start. Let's do base start. And I should look and see what kind of gear I have. I have a Iron Flicia and Jagged Sphere. Spear. You need help with tools. Cannot help you with that, sir. Going pretty fast. Why is that cavalry? I have a Sumter horse and a Bedouin common sandal. Saddle. You need tools too? Is that just everybody needs tools? I'm smoking them. Oh, and I can uh, actually walk through water apparently. And this is not even on uh, increased speed. Oh, wait, Jinda Martel. I would like to serve in your warband as a soldier. Okay, now we are in her warband. So traveling, enlistment time, tier one, infantry. So I get two gold per day, I believe. Yes, um, current experience, 10. So I would level up at 600. Change equipment, show, ask for different assignments, abandon party. I have zero reputation. Attack. Alright, let's go. It is time to make a name for ourselves. And I'm not commanding anything and I shouldn't be. Alright, let's go. I don't think we're going to get any kills in with only 10 looters. Oh god, he goes so slow. I think the cavalry is probably going to kill them before I get to them. I don't see any commands, so we must have just been charging, right? Yeah, it doesn't say. Come on, let's try to get some kills in. Ah, uh, there's only five left. You're not gonna let us kill anyone. Didn't get any kills in. Alright, we're done. Um, give me a second. Hold on, I'm actually going to change my description in the... Yeah, I'm updating the name of my the stream. Um, that's pretty much it. Okay, we're good. Let's go. Um, I thought I was supposed to be able to. What's uh, radio weapon? What? What just happened? Are we? What is this? Oh, she's doing some kind of a uh, mission, like uh, um, 
God, what is that quest called when you have to help out the villagers from like bandits or deserters? Oh, I need to be careful. Those are our archers. Even though we got a good amount of troops, still need to be careful. I have like zero armor. Warhouse Martell, let's go. Die, you bastards! Just gonna get behind them. But I do get a promotion, I think. Um, change equipment. How does that work? So I don't get an upgrade. So the way this the the mod works is that you can basically the serve as a soldier. You can sell your. Um, hold on. How do I? Lord bandits. What's going on? Um, okay, so you, you're basically like a soldier. You can join somebody else's military instead of being your own warband leader, and they'll pay you wages, as we can see here, and similar to how when you recruit troops and train them and level them up, you also, per your kill and experience, you level up, and you follow the tree, um, so... Here we have the Dornish recruit, right? So we would use, we are, we would follow the tree however we want, and that increases. We get increased skill. We get increased. Wait, what? What happened here? It was a big fight, and we just missed it. Um. So our our skill should increase. We actually haven't even done this. Um, two-handed, 10% better handling. Mm. So you have to be mindful of both the individual and then the formation bonus. I would prefer my troops have better damage against shields or skill. Um... I personally would want better handling. Yeah, let's do this one. Fine. Um, we have some attribute points that we need to get. So I think we're good here. One hand that's good. Pole arm is good. Throwing is good. Level 50. Yeah, let's spend one there. We should probably do one here too. And then probably intelligence. We might want one there for stewardship, medicine, and engineering. Um, speaking of which, stewardship, we should probably go up one. Medicine, one. Trade, one. And I think that's going to be good for now. Um, because smithing will level up to 50. So, we, yeah, we're not going to level up anytime soon. So I think we're good. The main thing is to keep an eye on the perks. I think. Um, so, yeah, let's go. Ask for a different assignment. Ask commander for leave. Yeah, so she's doing missions. Kind of like how we would be doing missions. That's what she's doing. Um, and I'm not commanding anything. I'm trying to... And this is a 22 poacher's army. What we need is for a big war to um, 
tap in so that we can go in there and start getting some kills. But I thought there was supposed to be some kind of a training option and I'm not seeing that in the ma main menu. And I think when we stop in a town or city, I need to request leave so I can participate, for example, in uh, tournaments, maybe do some smithing, something. You know what I didn't check is the um, what's for sale because I'm wondering how the economy has been tweaked. Corner shoot got got. Okay, I'm gonna stay behind them. There's 18. Okay, I can't, I can't be I can't be too. I'm too risky. Oh. Damn it, come on. Hit him like three times and I missed him. Did we win? Oh, I killed one. Uh, 89 experience, that's it. What different assignments? I want to drill the troops, lead scouting expeditions. Oh, I didn't know you can do this. Oh, I don't have the skills. Um, what else happens? Yeah, this is still not. My wage is up to six. Is that how much I'm getting? Uh, oh, let me see. Let's ask. Um, your enlistment contract has not expired yet. I cannot have my soldiers leaving. Okay, so I can't. Hmm. Are we at war with anyone? I thought it said something about fight. Gathering an army. But I guess not. Um, yeah, received six gold. So yes, my wages. Six going on seven. That's not bad. I mean, I'm not spending any money, so there's that. That is the benefit, I think. And we are an increased speed, but I'm going to want to make sure. I do want to make sure we're actually getting into some fights. If not, I'm probably better off doing missions and killing looters on my own. I gained the level. How'd that happen? So where else do we want to spend a focus point? Writing, athletics, yeah, let's do athletics. User recu uh, recruited, for some reason I thought somebody executed. That's what I was thinking. Executed. Tublis. So they have a lot of the same village names. I feel like that, that might be something to change. And I don't know if we need to see all of the... This is a lot of chat for us to be seen. I don't know if we need to see all of that. See, there we are. We're at war with them. It's one of the minor clans. Well, I guess while we're following them, I can uh, pop into the Discord and see what's going on. Um, ooh, yeah, we're going in. This is going to be a good fight. We're 
pretty balanced. Infantry charge. I'm gonna try to stay with my crew. I don't want to get messed up. They yeah, have—they're mostly recruits, so that's a good thing. Followed by soldiers, which I think are the tier two. Gotta watch out for those. Ah, I'm down. I was not watching carefully. How are we doing? We have 20 kills over there, 12, 24. Yeah, we're doing good. We're gonna win this. Should have been more careful. That is on me. Next time we pause, I'm actually gonna s take a look at the other kingdoms and see if they're at war. Um, and just take a look at the characters. Um, cause yeah, um, it should be Martin Martel that's in charge of Dorne, not Oberyn. So that you know, we'll see what other things um, need to get kind of fleshed out. Um, and then maybe maybe I can actually drop some recommendations in Discord later for them on the lore committee. Because, yeah, I think the Dornish get kind of left out too often. Um, and they have a pretty rich history, I guess, um, or content in the books. Uh, the shows definitely kind of screwed them over. Let's speed this up. There's only one person. Uh, yeah, let's go to Kingdoms. I plundered one gold. How did I leave their party? So the, the Westerlands, Tywin is in charge. They are at war with Brothers of the Woods. Um, Stormlands, Robert Baratheon. Friends and family. Um, that's interesting. So my Sela is alive. But where's Joffrey? No, he's here. So is he? Um, yeah. So I guess they're just not showing him as um, Robert's kid because he's technically not his kid. Um, okay, let's go back to Kingdoms, Boltons, not at war with anyone, Iron Island, not at war with anyone, the Vale, uh, at war with the North, and John Aaron is in charge of that. Uh, that's interesting. And Lake Rats. Oh, let's see who the Night Watch. Nobody. Okay. Um, free folk. Nobody. Uh, Frace. Nobody. Riverland. Tyrells. Small clans. Wolfskins. Has that been everybody? Essos. Yeah, they're at war with minor clans. Pretty interesting so far. Um, I would prefer if we can get into a few more fights. Um, ready your weapons. Poacher scums. Okay, you got it. Boss. 
Um, 40 archers. Yeah, y'all go. Meat shield. Meat shield it up for me. I think so far I've only gotten one kill, so we need a we need to get on the board. That's the fastest way to level up. The more we level up, the better gear we get. The thing is, you don't keep the gear. If I recall correctly, you don't actually keep the gear once you leave their party. Um, and similarly, like if you go and you have your own gear and you sign up, um, they. Like you don't lose your own gear and companions, you get all that stuff back once you return uh, to being a freelancer. We do need some major wars, though. That's where the intrigue is. Uh, you know, the excitement's going to come from all the drama that happens with that. I do hope that Tale Worlds does add more um, intrigue capacity to kind of flesh out the uh, right, I think I got two kills so far all right uh, yeah I got two kills and 3% of the loot? How much is that? That one's stop. Um, enlistment tier 1. Does it, shouldn't it say how much... Um, like how many people I killed? Or is it just uh, experience? I thought before... I thought they used to say... When you're not fighting, you're currently assigned to perform grunt work, more tasks are unpleasant, tired, or involving manual labor. So I get uh, passive daily athletics XP. Oh, okay, cool. Um, so that's what it is. So if I ask for a different assignment, I'll get different. So now I get daily scouting. Oh, okay. I'm okay doing manual labor, get my athletics up. Um, but my experience, my daily experience, it would be nice if I knew, if I can, sh if it would show like what... How many people I killed? So 241 is my reputation for Dorn. Is that my, yeah, it's my current experience. So I'm guessing you can build up your reputation and, because I say you become a tier six troop here, I don't think you that carries with you. I don't know for sure. We'll have to find out. We'll test it out later. Maybe if, um, Oh, hold on, I got a... Oh, shit. I think I had a attribute point that I need to hand out. That is 39 archers, so be careful. Did they send this out in the column? Or are they just naturally moving in that manner because of the obstacles in front of us. Alright, meet shield. Get in front of me. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, turn around. Two kills. Three kills. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. What is that? Four kills? That's the last one, I think. No, there's the other one. I'm sure the horses will get them. But we got four kills. Nice. 
I don't see any loot. Hold on, stop. Um, we got some athletics we need to upgrade. Increase movement speed. Should I increase movement speed or should I increase hit points? That is the question. Maybe movement speed. Um, shield bashing or one-handed gives you 20% increased handling. Hmm. I probably could use this one better. But because I plan to use two-handed weapons, but my troops could probably use this more. Um, the 4% less melee damage. Or they have one handled combat effectiveness as if they're, they were one tier higher. Now eh, let's do this one. And I think that's it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it seems like you, you level up way faster um, doing this. Which I think makes sense, right? Because you're like a professional, in a professional military. The only thing is I'm not... Oh, uh... The Westerlands declared war on the Stormlands. I don't think they actually go get into alliances here either. So in Bannerlord Online, you could get into alliances um, and obviously declare war. So, I mean, I feel like it would make more sense. It makes sense for the NPCs to be able to do that as well. How many days? Uh, hold on. Yeah, I can't go in there. I see. Ask Commander for leave. I could pay, but I guess it's not that big of a deal. We have made peace with Ben Zilao. That's a small clan. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna pause.